Should there be a scoreboard in battle rap? And how would that work? How I envision a scoreboard working in battle rap culture is you put a scoreboard up just like the Jumbotron or just like the ones that you see at games where it's visible for everybody in the crowd to see. And you score the points based on the fans' reaction. I think that'd be dope. You judge it based upon the fans' reaction. However, even, you know, I know some people be like, some people may have home court advantage. Then you got to be able to show and prove and prove that you one of the best under all circumstances. So it could either work one or two ways. Either the point could be scored based upon the crowd's reaction, or you can get a judge, you know, hire three judges who come from battle rap culture, who know bars, who know schemes, who know, you know, plays on words and double entendres, uh, you know, similes, metaphors, all these things. Like, I would like for battle rap to bring in judges or bring in some kind of, you know, battle rap has to have a winner, bro, because a lot of, a lot of battle rappers are able to claim bodies that they don't have for real. That they don't have for real. And the reason I'm speaking on this is because I just got finished watching Hitman Holler versus Easy to Block. And that was by far one of the best battles I've seen in a very long time. And that's just me being honest. I've stopped watching battle rap probably about like four years ago, four or five years ago. I really haven't been interested in it. The only thing that's, that caught my attention was Hitman Holler versus Cassidy, but that's because it was just, you know, gaining so much traction that I just followed it. And, you know, the press conference and the face, the face off was just amazing. You know, Cassidy does a really good job. He does a really great job at being a salesman. So it's almost like watching Floyd Mayweather prep for fights, you know, doing the, uh, you know, maybe on access or when it be 24-7, they just getting into it and they building up the fight. They selling it. And I seen Hollow versus Ill Will yesterday. I had Ill Will winning. I didn't get to watch the third round. But from what I heard, I had Ill Will winning 2-0. And I know there's a lot of Hollow to Dawn fans. And I was a huge, I'm a big Hollow to Dawn fan. Hollow is one of my favorite battle rappers. He's in my top five by far. I've been watching Hollow the Dawn since I was in high school. I was watching Hollow the Dawn since high school. And when I graduated from high school, I used to sit in the room and listen to his battles. Watch Tech Nine battles. Hitman Hollow, A Verb. I used to study and watch those guys, bro. So, you know, a lot of people. They judge battles based upon somebody's legacy, right? They give somebody the nod and they'd be like, all right, well, this person won. They judge rounds based upon the person's legacy. Just like basketball, Carmelo Anthony and what he did in his prime and, and what he did in his past, he's allowed to get a pass in his career, right? So, People are still saying, oh, Carmelo Anthony can help this team, that team. But it's new, it's newcomers, it's new players that's a new star is born every day. Everybody deserves a chance. So they hold on to what Carmelo Anthony did in the past and him being able to score all those points, you know, put on some very impressive performances that got stuck in a lot of people's hearts. So they always remember that from Carmelo Anthony putting on the show. So like I said, people can get by off their legacy. So that's the same thing with Hollow. So Hollow may have a mid round. It may be average at best, but you got people who will go crazy or you got people who are so in love that they overrated because what he did in the past. But the guy ill will slaughtered Hollow the Don in my opinion. And as I said, that's from an unbiased perspective. Same thing with Hitman Hollow. Easy to block, destroyed them, in my opinion. It was like haymakers every round, bro. It was like haymakers. Hitman Holler, best round was the first round. 
But other than that, I gave it the easy to block, bro. It's just like I got chills. Like I got that. I felt that excitement that I felt when I first started watching battle rap, bro. And I tuned out. It just got too commercial. They're not as hungry as they was when they was battling in small rooms. I vividly remember Hitman Holler and Arsenal being on stage and you know, my brother was doing tattoos and then I'm in there quoting everybody. I had people at my high school tuning in the battle rap, bro, because I was going around quoting it. So, man, all I'm going to say is, bro, battle rap needs a winner because it's allowing other guys to be able to walk around and, you know, pretend as if they destroyed or they body somebody and they're claiming these bodies and saying that they, like I heard Hitman say, he beat Tay Rock in the battle. You know, he said that the easy to block. Like, he destroyed Tay Rock before he came, you know, before he battled easy. So it's like, bruh, like, you did not destroy Tay Rock. I remember that battle. You didn't destroy him. Right? So as I said, battle rap, they need, like, a judge. They need a scoreboard, bro. It'd, it'd be nice if they had a scoreboard. You know, I know they like to leave it to the fans, bruh. But I don't think it's fair. I think they need to start picking a winner in battle rap, bro. Battle rap needs a winner.